Okay. Okay. Let's go. We're gonna get onto the interloper again. No, 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 no time for another one. Um, <laughs> and hopefully catch it like the first time around so that we can get directly into it. Um, should be kind of there in that general direction. Nope, uh, there. Not so far up. That's the white hole. There it is. And let's again do the autopilot because, um, yeah, right, I mean. That's faster, <laughs> and we need the time, I think. Um, I also think that we will crash into this thing at this rate. Just try to match him, and then we can again get back from behind. Pretty much. Let's slide. Uh, I think it's safer to um, land the ship on the back side. Um, but whatever, you know, <laughs> I don't really care. Let's just get to the fissure and then some should be coming up soon-ish. Yeah, you can see we're pretty much going straight. Straight at it. Nah, not really. First have to do drive-by on Virtual Hollow. <laughs> um, and then also the twins, I think. Oh no, that's on the other way, right? No, no, we we got the twins. <laughs> already melting. Don't think so. Why is that ghost net inside the interloper though? That's something I'm curious about. Hello twins. How are you? These snowflakes are interesting. Let's get in there. Yes, please. Please let me through. Uh, which way is the right way? Nope. That way, apparently. Okay. So ideally, I think we would like to get in there, but we can't because of, you know, ghost matter and that. This one is apparently... No, it's not. Okay. Slowly though, slowly. Yeah, let's get out of there. Not even dealing with that. Oh, there's a recording here, dude. Way too overexcited. I'm receiving much stronger energy readings now that we're beneath the crust. Whatever it is must lie somewhere below, closer to the comet's center. And I'm starting to think it's more dangerous than we realized. Clary, can you hear us? Yes, but your voices are faint. I fear we will lose communication entirely if you continue any deeper. Keep the shuttle warm for us, Clary. Um, we'll return the moment we identify the source of the energy readings. I understand, but be cautious, both of you. Um, that one is a dead end or a death. This one I can't tell, so let's try this one right here. Slowly though, slowly, very slowly.
this probably just spits us out there, okay. So then let's go down further, slowly though, and there's Ghost Matter there. <gasps> yep. No, that's bad. That's bad, dude. What and how, though? up here huh really have to get up there okay, can we I mean I'm willing to oh no um, I'm willing to take the risk of just jumping in and seeing of whether we can make it if we're fast enough but not at you know less than full health <laughs> but apparently there's also ghost matter here. On the left there. Whoa whoa whoa, not this fast though. Okay. Okay. Are we back where we started? No, this is definitely somewhere else. Uh, that's probably one of them, right? That's so sad. Oh, that doesn't look good. No, but no ghost metal there, huh? Ah, <sighs> no gravity here. Let's identify the dangerous parts, though. We want to read that, but first... Nope. That's definitely bad. The spherical stone casing here seems to be the source of the energy release. No, rather the source is what's within the stone and detecting some form of exotic matter. The stone is muting our energy readings. There should be 10 times what we're seeing at least. I, I don't think we want this matter interacting with us. As far as I can tell, direct contact with it would almost certainly be fatal. I've never encountered anything like this casing but it's all that's protecting us from what's inside, where still this myth is disturbingly volatile. Pi, whatever this, the meta inside this stone casing... Can we spot pi? Okay. Whatever the meta inside this stone casing is, it's more than just profoundly unstable, it's under tons of pressure. Look at this density scan, I've never seen anything this tightly compact before, what is it? Hi, this is orders of magnitude worse than I've imagined. I'd imagined. If this stone were to rupture, the lethal matter within would rapidly expand, completely blanketing the star system almost instantaneously. And the pressure is still building as the comet sorry as the comet approaches the star system. Return to the shuttle right now. The rest of our friends need to know then in terror terrible danger. Leave your equipment and run. What are you doing, Pi? 
The more we know about this alien matter, the better our chances of survival. I will learn what I can here. Go, warn the others. Maybe they can construct shelter somehow. Now, Poke. Oh my man to do. Is that what they build all of the stuff for? That's where we came in, right? That's also... This is not a spherical casing, I must say. So... Um, it ruptured and killed them both. And these are bits of the shell. Oh. Wouldn't want to go there, huh? Damn, dude. And this is the, the source of all those matter? Presumably? Shh, dude. I can't even... What am I... Hmm. That's just... Dude, that's rough. That's real rough. Oof. And they just got blown out. Just blown away. Literally speaking. Whew! So, but, um, is there any way to get out of this again? I would prefer not to die. No. I feel like I'm dying in here too. I guess we were we were very close to the sun again there, uh, which would have been the time to leave, I guess. Weirdly, hmm, I don't even want to. <laughs> Wait, what? They fell down here? Where's the recording now? I mean, we are suffocating anyways in here. There it is.
What can I say? I really didn't expect this game to be a tragedy, actually. Well, I guess that comes with the whole um, extinct civilizations and such. Whew. But that's rough. Let's view the ship's belts before, before we close here. The ruptured core. I found the two missing members of the Nomad Shuttle a crew near a large ruptured stone that looks like it exploded from the inside. The Nomad traced the strange energy readings to a spherical stone casing filled with some form of exotic matter. They determined the exotic matter was both lethal and under extreme pressure. If the stone were to rupture, the exotic matter within would rapidly expand, completely blanketing the solar system almost instantaneously. One of the Nomai stayed behind to examine the alien matter while the other rushed back to the surface to warn the rest of the Nomai. Yeah, well, but why didn't it blanket the whole solar system, you know? Or is all of that already gone again? Hmm? And the ghost matter patches are just the remains of that. What is this, by the way? Felspa. Right, we also still don't know where Felspa went. Dark Bramble. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we know where Felspa went. Oh. Maybe also this... Um, trick here helps us mm, when dealing with the anglerfish to launch the scout and then we can see so we go to the crash site of the seed we launch the scout into it it hits the anglerfish um, and then we can get into dark bramble with the ship and hopefully kind of navigate around it or something. Hmm. I don't know yet. No yet. But Quantum Moon though. Let's do that uh, next time for real. Okay, so um somewhat shorter episode here. Can I go back? Oh, I can. Um, but still, I hope you enjoyed it. And um, if you did, leave a like. And in any case, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.